this is what I'm excited for now. After actually picking up the hardware, like the arms, the Verkline arms seem heavier than the OEM arms, but the Verkline subframe is definitely lighter than the OEM subframe. So we'll see what this comes out to. I'm gonna write everything down on my phone, but uh, I got the scale out here in the driveway. I'm gonna drag both these subframes out and I'm going to, I'm gonna weigh myself. I'll weigh myself like three times and then I'll get on the scale three times with each and get like a good number because you know it, it goes off a little bit and uh, see what the difference is and we'll do the same oh I won't stand on it for those but I'll put uh, both pairs of each on the scale and uh, see what the difference is so I'm gonna guess I don't even know like maybe 15 pounds lighter altogether I don't know maybe not even that we'll see the big savings will be that the hatch, the Lexan, and the crash bar gone. But there's way more benefits to this subframe and stuff than, than just being light. Like the strength and the rigidity and the, just everything, the amount of adjustability, like super dope. And then it saves weight on top of all the other things. So here we go. It is a little windy out here, guys. I apologize, but it's a little dark in the garage and very cramped, so I'm doing it out in the driveway. But uh, just weighed myself three times. I weighed 147.4 on the dot each time. So I'm gonna walk in here and grab uh, the old subframe. Now each of them do have some hardware on it. I left some bolts on so I know where stuff goes. Um, I transferred over the level sensor to the new subframe, and then the hardware's in there for the diff. Um, which I'm just about to toss. I'm about to put the disc bushings in today and install the diff and then install the subframe um, At least Partially I got to replace the bolts with new ones still And uh, I got to replace like the guibo thing on the drive shaft And once the drive shaft's good then I can connect it to the Haldax or the, the diff And then I can torque down the subframe and then I can put all the arms on so just waiting on the uh, stuff to come in the mail in the meantime we're going to uh, I'm gonna pull that crash bar off, but let's weigh this shit. I said I was 147 and a half. So, try and stand on this as evenly as possible. 188.5. I don't know what I was thinking there. Math was off, but it's uh, pretty much 41 pounds on the dot. With the 034 inserts and just a couple of bolts, so we'll see what uh, what this way is. I'm gonna guess like like 25, 25 pounds. Seven and a half pound savings there. It feels like a lot more in your hand. Maybe it's because the Verk line's like easier to handle since it's like tubular. Um, I thought it would be more. Definitely did. I know the control arms are heavier. Trail arms are basically the same and the tow arms are definitely heavier. So it's gonna be less than seven pounds. Like I said, it's all good. I mean, we, we are, I mean, that's a little bit of weight. But uh, we're gonna shave a lot more here very soon and just with all the alignment stuff going on with this like it's going to be so nice not having any bushings in the back like we're really going to be able to throw this car around like it's going to be super dope and especially when the handbrake gets in there Whew. phew that sun is killer let me tell you all right so i wrote everything down i want to bore you guys with me stepping on the scale 100 times so um Verkline subframe versus stock, you save seven and a half pounds. Control arms, uh, you add half a pound. Tow arms, point, you add 0.2 of a pound. And the trailing arms, uh, you lose half a pound. So all in all, it's 7.3 pounds altogether lost. But uh, for a lot of time, I mean, it does say lightweight in the name, but. 
It's all good. Now, for the next thing, we got a new bushing. Well, bushing inserts, because my dumbass thought I clicked on bushings. I was looking at the PowerFlex bushings, and I was like, eh, I don't know how I, how I feel about these, and ECS had this kit. I don't run many of ECS's things, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a shot. Like, it's literally just, just bushings, right? Like, you can't really go wrong. Well, talking with a buddy on Instagram, and he had he had bought, there's a, a, a bigger kit than this you can get that includes um, these same type of things for the rear subframe, which is kind of like the 034 ones I have. Anyway, and he's like, yeah, they're inserts for the differential. And I was like, yeah, I got the full replacement. And I was like, wait a second, if they're just inserts. So I went back in my order and looked, and it turns out I ordered this. I don't know why I thought it was a full bushing, or maybe there's another ECS kit that is like an actual bushing replacement. I just clicked the wrong one. I don't know. I was in a rush because I need to have stuff ordered that night so I get this shit done. But anyway, so I'll shove these babies in real quick. So I'll show you the difference here. I'm, I did. It is nice though. It comes with with grease. It comes with new hardware. So I'll be able to get this diff installed today and I'll be able to hang the subframe in the car. And like I said, I can't install it fully, A, because I don't have new hardware for it. I'm gonna use the old hardware to just hang it and align it and just take the bolt out one by one and replace it uh, with the new ones when they come. But uh, the Weibo on the diff needs replaced. This rear one is, is bad. I bought replacements for the front and back. And before I tighten down the subframe to the car, I gotta have a new one of those because I gotta attach the drive shaft. So we'll be waiting for a little bit. Hopefully they come in soon, but we'll see. Anyway, let's go to look here at this. Okay, so this is the bottom of the diff bushing. Of course, now it goes blurry again. I apologize, there you go. You can kind of see like how wavy it is. That's how these, that's where these guys sit in the kit. I believe they sit right on those yep see it sits in there perfectly like a little puzzle piece so you got those for the bottom and then you see how this is like machined deep it goes down in these grooves to help keep it in place so pop down right on there like that you put this one on the bottom boom very nice all right so I got everything uh, greased up and on there for the most part uh, I didn't stick those bushings on yet because I don't want to like carry the transmission. I'm going to pull this little cap off too, but I just realized um, this is from the old subframe. You can see that mounting point down there in the corner. Excuse my mess. These are all the rocks that were on top of the subframe. Anyway, that guy right there is boop, this guy right here. And I was looking at it. I was like, wait a second. I'm not just about to put this straight onto that. And I was like, oh yeah, I gotta use this thing. So I'm gonna clean this off. And then we'll throw this diff together. All right, so we're gonna attempt to uh, throw this differential in. It's a little heavy, but uh, I'm really trying just to not scratch up this. And I already did put a couple scratches in when I did the test fit, but. All right, here we go. I still gotta stick these bushings in. Uh, I greased everything. <laughs> All right, so I'll set that there. Get these bushings on as I. These inserts, I guess you. You. I gotta do the front first and then align these two because of the angle everything sits at is kind of funky.
This has got to get brought up more because of the angle. It's throwing the holes off, so we'll run that down some. All right, so roommate took the second jack, or not the roommate, roommate's buddy did. It's not here right now. So we're gonna attempt to do this with one jack. Now without having the axles and the rotors and all the other junk on this, it should be able to keep the center of balance pretty easy on the jack. And then it's really just, once I align one hole with one, I stick a bolt in, align the next one, stick the bolt in, and then from there it's pretty much aligned. I'm just gonna put a couple threads in of each and then, uh, yeah, just leave it hang until I get bolts and, like I said, the rest of the drive shaft piece. So, All right. I'm aim to have it like right, basically right in front of this, right behind this bar. It's up front. See, like I was saying, the bottom of it isn't flat. So it ain't gonna fucking, see what I mean? No, I mean, we can at least this get it we, This is how we did it um, at Auto Hobby for my car. Mm -hmm. We just went up as high as we can, because... Yeah, then you just kind of like... Yeah. yeah. Shimmer them. Alright. So last time I did a rear end, it was with her, so... I think we'll be able to get this rear end together, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need you, since I don't have swivel wheels, push this thing over, can you? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna take this fucking thing off for a moment. I'm gonna pull this out and clean. You're this gonna insert that over there and then? Sticking too far close to the. Where you're on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is probably way off right now. Alright, you can end it. I'm gonna clean these. Pull this out, clean these. No. Sorry about the lighting and the camera position, guys. You're sitting in my uh, like exhaust area on my bumper, but uh, we're about to raise this baby on up. Try and get her in. Grab these bolts. Let's see how long this clip lasts. How's it look about the drive shaft? There's some amount of uh, follow the rules to place and screw bolts diagonally, right front. And then left rear, and then left front, right rear. So, right front, and it'll be yours. That one goes first. And of course, that's like the lowest one out of all of them. <laughs> all right. we, we got clearance? Oh. Got a little bit of... Oh. 
And one side's not even coming up to the bolts. Mm. video guys jesus christ mm. my transmission just fingering my whole <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry kaylin she hasn't done as much as i do so i have to work <laughs> rude i tried i tried clicking i think when you sent it to me it didn't like it was blank we can't upload it yet sorry guys i just recorded like the longest clip in the world but she's all in now like laying under the car i don't have it in fully because I like I said I still gotta mount the drive shaft but I need a new thingy I don't know how well this can see yeah look at how bad that thing looks so we got a new one coming in as soon as that gets here we'll start installing all this that looks really pretty and I'm sorry I got the camera like right in front of my face so it's hard to like see what's going on yeah it looks super dope I want to get this thing up on the left and just be able to show it off Look at that. 